Hello everybody. We are in the third and final phase of the big refit on Tritea. There's a lot of crazy projects happening. We are making an integrated water tank in the bilge. We are making a hard dodger and um, trying to do the hard push to um, leave for full-time cruising soon. But we want to take a minute and thank our supporters, thank our patrons, and thank our gear patrons. Um, you guys are our YouTube crew our Patreon crew, and it's incredible the amount of support we've been given, and um, we just wanted to take a second to thank, thank everyone. Um, <clears throat> so, the, uh, we also want to thank everyone who left all the sweet comments and encouraging comments um, on the San Miguel video. So, that video was hard to make, and it was, it was, you know, I was like dreading the day it went up for a while because, and there were only a handful of like really hateful comments. The great, great majority of them were, you know, very sweet, encouraging, and people thanking us for like sharing that experience because of the value it has to help help people stop and think, oh, this could definitely happen to us. So, thanks for all your your comments on that. Um, it's really hard for me to catch up on replying, but we have read every comment. But there's like a hundred and 50 comments or something so so we're trying to get through those <clears throat> um during our live chat live stream that we did uh on at cat harbor some some of the people were asking in the super chat if they could um if we had an amazon list um to try to help contribute some gear uh as we prepare the boat to take off sailing and um so uh we weren't like terribly comfortable doing that but everybody's like just you know that way if you know people want to be able to help that way they can so we went ahead and made it public yeah and i think part of it is the like being diy and and trying to do all of this it's it's a it it's overwhelming and it feels foreign to have people from all over that we don't know say how can we help and, yeah it's um, amazing it's, but it is yeah, very foreign like, I've been working for a paycheck since I was 12 years old, like, hoeing weeds in oil-filled lots in southeastern New Mexico. So, we've always had jobs and always worked, and, and we intend on working as we sail. Um, but to have contributions from people to, that get gain something, either entertainment or knowledge through our channel, it's amazing. Yeah, the generosity is, like, um, it's really overwhelming, and it's really, it's, it, it feels really awesome, so thank you, and, um... So, yeah, so thanks for everybody that's contributed. Um, it feels almost like an impossible feat, <laughs> what yeah. we're trying to do. So, any little bit of help, you know, like, our Amazon list is, like, a running list that we use for ourselves. Like, we add things to it as we discover we need them, or, or I'm like, oh, that would be nice for the boat. And that's, I've had that list running just as a shopping list for myself since I got the boat. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was cool to like, we popped into the mailbox yesterday and had two packages from some of our patrons. So let's talk about a little bit of those uh, contributions. Um, so, and, and we have had people contribute gear and stuff in the past that weren't comfortable with us thanking them publicly. You know who you are. Thanks so much. And we're going to respect that privacy. But, um, um, we want to thank Dana for getting us the, uh, he, he got, he, he contacted me after watching the San Miguel video and was like, I really want to get you guys a floating handheld VHF. Can I contribute this to your cause? And we we're like, yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> he went ahead and got that for us, which is incredible. That way, what, if, you know, if Kil Camille and Steady go ashore and they need to contact the boat, then that's possible. If we'd have had something like that, we had one on board. But the battery was dead, so we it was no good to us, you know what I mean? Um, but now we have a new one so that if something happened like that, maybe we could have contacted those boats. Um, and uh, so now, you know, that's a huge safety thing. And that was another thing. When we got back from that situation at San Miguel, I loaded up our list with things I wanted to buy safety-wise. Yeah, like, like, really. <laughs> I was, like, safety. like, really looking into safety stuff. So... That's awesome. Another thing we had added was like a two-person inflatable kayak. And um, one of our viewers, Jeremy, I didn't even, he didn't contact me or anything. We just, it, we just showed up at the yeah, mailbox. Yeah, I went, in the, I went, we use a, like a, like a mailbox service. 
and so I went in and they always have they'll give you your packages when you give them this little slip and they were like oh that one's yours and it was this giant box and I picked it up and it was so heavy and I was like what is this and I thought it was something James ordered yeah I didn't know what it and was, he didn't know what I, it was I, either. I, yeah I, I don't have any money so, so it was like, <laughs> surprise kayak thank you yeah which is awesome because and we like that is going to be our backup it's so that we never ever ever run into that situation again so it's yeah. like and I don't I think, ever want to be stranded like that again. And we plan on going to places that are very remote. So. Yeah. And until we get, we're thinking, I'm thinking about um, getting like a proper hard kayak and having it on a rack outside of the, um, what would you call where the rack goes? Just outside the lifelines, yeah. off the stanchions. Off the stanchions. Um, but until that happens, I will probably be going on my... Um, my underwater hunting trips in the kayak first and then anchoring at places. Yeah, and especially with that two person one, she'll be able to like, you know, put her catch in the one of the seats and then <laughs> come back to us yeah. in the or other. Or bring the dog ashore too. <clears throat> yeah. So thank you, Jeremy. Very awesome surprise. Appreciate that. And um the uh a lot of people reached out because you know, since we lost the dinghy and everything and all the gear, we did get the dinghy back and the bag of gear from the Coast Guard. That's coming up on ne uh, next Monday's video. You'll see what happens with that. Some of the gear that was a total loss was the outboard engine was a complete loss. We were not able to revive it. Um, so that's a, a large expense that we're looking at. Um, and um, a number of people had had made some donations towards like helping us replace the gear. And those donations are going directly to that fund for us to get a brand new outboard. I wanna get an outboard that's new and reliable that either me or Camille can start without any trouble. And you know, we need that safety and security. So, so people that like Rob gave us money through PayPal. He's like a long time, yeah. like a, like a dollar deck hand. And he said he wanted to just give a little bit more to help us replace some of that gear. So, so that's going straight to our outboard. And somebody was saying when we were on the live that um, the, the dinghy, when you are on a sailboat is like your car and keeping yeah. being able to have a reliable car and do the things that you need to do to get back home is yeah and especially like so we cool. mostly usually used to row everywhere but <clears throat> being in big winds like that and not being able to get back toward the safety of our boat it made me realize like the absolute importance of having a reliable outboard engine so it's something that's non-negotiable at this point we have to figure out how to get one and we're gonna make it happen. And um, I've had people give me used ones. We're done. We, <laughs> like they're such a pain. Like we have to get like you know. And it's it's you know we cut corners and do stuff ourselves on so many things. Um, it's one one thing that we're definitely gonna be like we're getting a brand new outboard and then go from there. But um, <clears throat> also Connor, um, a friend of ours on Instagram, he contributed. He contacted me. It was like. He did like a big cruise of this um, South Pacific and stuff. And he told me, he was like, I would have never left the dock if there hadn't been cruisers helping me and encouraging me, you know, so I want to help, I want to contribute. And he got us a pair of binoculars that was on our Amazon list. We've never had real binoculars on the boat. We had some we found by the trash. And, uh, <laughs> but so now we have like really nice binoculars yeah. which can come in really handy. Um, so thanks, Connor, for that. Thank you, Connor. Um, our buddy Jesse gave us his spinnaker and spinnaker pole off of his old Bristol 30. He now has a, a Cape Dory 36, I think, is his boat. This is a very cool boat. Beautiful boat. And um, so he had this spinnaker is too small for his current boat. He donated that to us, which is incredible, and had a spinnaker sock and everything. We could have never afforded that. Thank you, Jesse. Right now. So thanks, Jesse. Um, and then Mark gave us a life raft, and I think... Uh, Mark's a buddy of ours that has a boat down in Pedro and um, I think when uh, we when he contacted me he's like hey I have this life raft if you want it and um, I was like yeah if you if you don't need it and he was like well I don't have any use for three expired life rafts which I thought was hilarious so we're gonna get that thing up to date and then we'll have a, a life raft um, for Tritea for ocean crossings so that's just some of the you know like um, gears uh, uh, patronage that's happened and um, one-time patronage and stuff we also want to thank all of our full-time patrons um, like we have I think three different tiers like one dollar five dollar and ten dollar are tiers and you would think like a dollar a video which we post we 
take contributions for one video a week. Oftentimes we'll put two videos a week, but we every Monday is when we accept contributions for that video. So it's like, you know, it's a four dollars a month for someone, which may seem like, well, what does that even do? And it it does a lot actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, like if enough enough viewers, you know. And, uh, it adds up for us. Um, it's been paying the slip fee. It's been paying the, the slip fee and then mm -hmm. contributing to the mountain of cost of getting the boat like ocean ready. Yeah. Um, but and then when we leave full time cruising, it's going to go towards our Iridium Go, which is like 140 bucks a month so that we can get weather updates anywhere. And you'll be you able know. to see us. Where and you'll we be are. able to follow our, our track. Um, but that's a big thing, you know, that's like, that's a pretty large expense if you're like out cruising. So you, uh, that's going to be helping with that. And then so many other expenses, you know. And now if you don't know what Patreon is, basically it's like you choose whatever level um, that you would like to contribute to a content creator. And um, say it's $1 um, a, vid a video, uh, most sailing channels <clears throat> put up like one video a week. And, um, so like I said, $4 a month. And if there's channels out there, like during this last year, we've had a lot of time where we're not going to the movies. We're not getting to go out to eat. You know, we're not getting to go on vacations and stuff. If you find that you've been at home a lot and like consuming a lot of YouTube content, you should consider giving to some of these channels that really give you like a lot of entertainment, joy, or if you learn a lot of things. Yeah, not like, just us. Yeah, oh no, no, like <laughs> that's the thing is like like free range sailing, like we love their channel. Like that's a great channel to give to. Yeah. Like they, you know, and like Boat Works Today. I've learned so much from that guy. So, you know, there's channels like that, that it's like, just think about, you know, if you have that ability and a lot of us don't. A lot of us have been out of work a ton this year. I think I worked four jobs this year. Camille like worked maybe one job. Yeah. So it's like, you know, <clears throat> it's been a rough year for all of us. And which even even more so is incredible that our, our full-time patrons have stuck by us. Yeah. And, but um, it's kind of like, um, if you remember the like public television drive when they talk about the like, you know, support the things that you love. Like YouTube is amazing it's like we live in such a crazy world now that we can talk to all of you and say hi and you can see our adventures and like creating content isn't we're not we're not fabricating it like we're just living our lives and bringing you along with yeah. and if you like coming with yeah and that's <laughs> the thing you know it's like the reality is is like we're gonna make these videos even if we have no patrons, even if we have no contributions, we're gonna continue showing you guys what we're doing. We're gonna continue to try to teach you things that we've learned. Um, but there are like certain costs that correspond <laughs> with like content creation. For instance, like my my laptop is a, a MacBook Pro from 2012, who is on its very last legs. And I- <laughs> Everybody send good vibes <laughs> to the MacBook. I expect it to, to expire, you know, at any moment. So what I've done to safeguard that is um, we downloaded some video editing software on our iPad that's not as powerful as um, the Premiere Pro that we use, but um, if that thing just bites the dust, we're going to have the ability to go ahead and keep editing these weekly videos on a smaller scale, but continue creating content until we can get a replacement. Another thing, <clears throat> recently we bought Camille her own GoPro, oh, yeah. so she's going to be editing her own episodes soon. So that's coming up. So yeah, there are definitely costs involved in like creating this stuff, but we, um, we're gonna share our lives with you no matter what, you know? And, uh, but we are very grateful. So very grateful, because it's, it blows my mind. Yeah, <laughs> Actually, it's, 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 a, it's incredible. And we're not one of the huge channels. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers. And like, I remember in 2015 <laughs> when I first started, I was like, oh man, if I had 10,000 subscribers, that would be insane. <laughs> and back then you had to wait, you had to have 10,000 views on your page to even be able to have your own custom URL. So it was like, and it took me years to get 10,000 views on my channel. <laughs> um, 
but we're so close. So thanks everybody the subscriber. If yeah. you're a subscriber or you're a viewer and you comment, um, you're helping us. You know, you're a supporter. Yeah, and it's uh, just just putting the thumbs up, saying saying something, um, subscribe. Just those numbers help us incredibly. Yeah, and anyone who shared the um, San Miguel video, we appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think that video deserves to have kind of widespread coverage because it could help people and um it really sucked to share with you <laughs> but um thanks so much for everything thanks to all of our patrons our gear patrons our full-time patrons and um people that have uh, helped us through our amazon list awesome and uh you guys are a youtube crew and we got a lot of crazy adventures coming <laughs> in 2021 yeah i almost spilled the beans on our live video and i won't do it now but i'm so excited to tell you guys yeah so what, we'll what the, we're gonna do next. the end of february we're gonna hold have a special live event telling you guys our plans but they are racing towards us as we speak <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. Um, oh one more thing we want to thank everybody who donated during the super chat. So we got some donations in the super chat on our last live stream, and that money is going towards um, we're gonna get actual upholstery. Yay! So Camille, that's one of <laughs> Camille's spearheading that project right now, where um, we're having uh, we're getting new foam cushions that are antimicrobial mm -hmm. and actual like umbrella material. We've been using packing blankets. Yeah, and for there, three years. There's been some comments about our sh our shabby. Yeah, that we look uh, like hobos <laughs> or like in like a I don't know freight train boxcar yeah. or something. Well, we're kind of still hobos, but we're the, definitely hobos. The but... boat is gonna look a little bit cuter. And um, James is better at sewing than me. I am not gonna sew these. But I'm going to figure out how to get them made. <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at sewing. I just don't have time. With yeah. all the other projects, it's like, you know, we have three major projects happening at once. So, yeah, Camille's, Camille's getting that project loaded up. Yeah. And um, might, it's going to be cool. I might phone a friend on this um, upholstery <laughs> deal. <laughs> so, thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, guys. And um, give us a thumbs up. And you know what's funny? There's like three or four people on almost every video they give us a thumbs down <laughs> the funny thing is is like if they watch the video they're still supporters because it still helps us in the algorithm so yeah even y'all who are giving us a thumbs down we love you um okay fair wins until next time thanks for watching if you enjoyed this episode please give us a like subscribe and leave us a comment it helps us a lot Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.